got your mental illness. Joke's on you, you can keep it. <laughs> Y'all got that friend that eats at the fucking speed of light? Yo, here's your sandwich. I don't know if you're allergic to anything in it, but I, I think there's salami and where's your sandwich? What sandwich? Being depressed is so weird. Like, how are you this bad at being a human? All right, time to be productive. Co, this is water. You need to drink water to survive. So you're gonna drink the water. No. What do you mean, no? You can't just, okay, I guess you can. Teacher, teacher. Yes? Would you punish me for something I didn't do? No. I didn't do my homework. You get ten million dollars. Ten million dollars? I'm doing it. Just wait, there's a catch. What is it? You get ten million dollars, but a snail is chasing you for the rest of your life, and if it touches you, you die. Okay. The snail can't die, and its only purpose is to find you wherever you go. Are you still taking the money? Hey Siri, how long does it take a snail to walk a mile? A snail travels at a speed of 0 .03 miles per hour. So if it doesn't stop, it will take approximately 33 hours to travel one mile. How many miles is half of the Earth? Half of the Earth is 24,901 miles. And how long would it take a snail to walk that far? For a snail to walk 24,901 miles, it would take 821,733 hours, which adds up to 93 years. So I'll just travel the summer hot. When we go in this restaurant, you are 12. Mom, I am 18! And would you like a kid's menu? Yes, I do. Oh, I hope you don't mind. I invited my friend over who's really into smoothies. That's fine. I love smoothies. Don't tell him that. Hey! Sorry I'm late. I was making a making smoothie. smoothie. Yeah, we know. Guess what's in it? It doesn't matter what's in your smoothie. You! Guess what's in my smoothie. You don't have to guess what's in his smoothie. Don't let him get to you. No, it's fine. I'll guess. Is it, uh, carrots? What? I don't know. Who is this guy? Does he work for you? No, he doesn't work for me. Did he tell you to say carrots? I didn't tell him to say carrots. He just doesn't know what's in the smoothie. Yeah, I, I like smoothies too, though. Don't tell him that! Are you trying to drink my smoothie? No, that's not what I meant. He doesn't want your smoothie. He's trying to chug my smoothie right in front of me. I wasn't. This is my smoothie. I need this. Yeah, oh, here we go. He's gonna chug the whole smoothie. Yeah. I need this smoothie to function. I need it for my body. You can enjoy it slowly. I'm not gonna take it. Lady's sitting at home when a phone rings. She looks down, it's her husband. She picks it up. Hello? Husband on the other line. Honey, I don't want to alarm you, but I got hit by a car when I was leaving work. Paula took me to the hospital. They checked me over, they did some x-rays. The blow to my head was pretty severe, but it didn't show any internal injury. Bad news is, I got three broken ribs, a compound fracture in my left leg, and they might have to amputate my right leg. The wife says, Who the fuck is Paula? I have a gun. I have missiles. I have a Death Star. I have your dog. I've got your dog. Oh, you want to be like that? I have your family. I have your browser history. Touche. Oh, thumbs up. Yeah. What? Oh my god, it's starting. Yeah! The apocalypse already? Where's my baseball bat? What? What were you doing in there? Just clearing my throat out. Of demons? We have a flat tire. How do I tie a bow tie again? What's the fastest way to Hartford Hospital? Tell my wife I'm gonna be 30 minutes late. Tell my husband I'm not surprised. Tell my wife if she has a problem with my work schedule, she's more than welcome to get a job of her own. Tell my husband that I do just as much work as he does. Tell my wife that if watching Ellen is a job, she should get a promotion. Message from your husband. I appreciate you. Bullshit. What did he actually say? Please don't drag me into this. Siri, call my husband. Siri, ignore the call from my bitch wife. Tell my husband that he said he'd respect my choice to stay at home with our child. Tell my wife I would, but she can't even get around to washing his overalls. Did you want me to search for flower shops nearby? Ask my wife if she's fucking Jim McPherson. Tell my husband how dare he. Tell my wife that's not an answer. Is this my fault? Tell my husband that I will not answer that. Ask my wife if she's fucking Jim McPherson. Searching for a place to hide. Tell my husband he wishes it was just Jim McPherson. I don't want to. Tell him. Please don't make me. Do it. Send my wife directions to hell. Yeah! Oh!
Having siblings is weird. I would take a bullet for them. If they ask me to hide a body, I'm hiding that body. No questions asked. If they need a kidney, I say, which one? I don't need both. But there is no way I'm letting them borrow my charger. Hey, I'm borrowing your charger. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Where is my baby? Have you seen the baby? No, I have not seen the baby. When was the last time you saw the baby? Now get out there and find that baby. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of our baby, how could you lose the baby? I never even wanted the baby. Our top story today police across the country are still searching for the baby. The baby. There's the baby. Okay, can you shut up? How do you I like boys and girls and you're still single? Oh, damn. Okay. Put your money in the bag. Put it in. Yo, look at this one over here. <sighs> no, nah, I wouldn't mess with him, man. For what? Look, man, look at what we doing, okay? We is robbing the place, okay? This dude right here, he's just standing there like nothing's going on, okay? He's chilling, all right? That's a whole anime protagonist. I wouldn't mess with him. No, no, I'm, t I'm telling you. Look at him. Look at the way he's sitting right now. He's going to end up killing you, and then I'm going to have to run. I'm not going to be able to get away. He's going to catch me because they're overpowered, and then I'm going to get killed. This looked like the pilot episode to his anime. I'm telling you, we should not be doing this. Man, you watch too many of them Japanese cartoons. I'm gonna I'm go beat him up. What? No, why would you put the money in the bar? Kimiwa, Kokoni Kirubakata Wanakata. He did. Hey, what's this guy talking about? Here's a man! Here's a man! I wanna believe you're a Libra, but you're acting like a fucking Gemini! Don't you side shit me! I'm sorry, my planets are in retrograde! The stars aren't real and the Earth's flat, you dumb fucks! <laughs> Leo. Hey man, what the fuck was up with that text you sent me? Oh, it's because of your allergy. It was a picture of a dead body. Did you not read the caption, dude? It was, you after eating a peanut, be like. <laughs> Incredibly disturbing, ruined my whole day. Okay, where'd you even find that? In the woods. You took the picture? Yeah. Call the cops! Inform law enforcement! What the fuck? Why would I rat on myself to the cops? You killed him? Yeah. Do you not remember? Remember what? It's you. <laughs> what? I don't... Really, it's you after eating a peanut. What? I'm sorry. I regret it. I didn't mean for it to be this way. I miss you. I really, I really miss you. I just hate a liar. Like, I... What are you, you what? You said pass me the iron. No, the fuck I didn't. Bro, I'm so hungry. Why would you call me ugly? I... Like, Bitch, I said hungry. I just need a sign. Oh, like, I'm a Sagittarius. That's not what I meant, you fucking you. dumb- A teacher was working with a group of children about the sense of taste, and she had brought a variety of flavor of lifesavers and told them to close their eyes and to taste them. The children were able to correctly identify the flavors of cherry, lemon, and mint, but when the teacher gave them a honey-flavored lifesaver, all the children were stumped. The teacher says, I'll give you a hint. It's something that your mommy probably always calls your daddy. All of a sudden, a little boy in the back of class stands up, spits his out, and yells, Quick, spit them out! They're assholes! Okay, I can do this. It's just British. How hard can it be? British 101. Repeat after me. Okay. Batty bought a bit of butter. But the butter Batty bought was bitter. So Batty bought a better butter... And it was better than the bitter butter. Uh, uh, Betty bought a bit of butter. But the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty bought a better butter. And it was better than the bitter butter. Betty bought a bit of butter. But the butter Betty bought was bitter. So Betty bought a better butter. And it was better than the bitter butter. Bottle water. Sir, do you know why I pulled you over today? Because you think I am the Asian, so I can't drive. No, you were going 35 on a highway. You dumb shit, that's the speed limit, see? 
Yeah, that's the highway number. Oh, 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 shit. Sorry, one second. 38, some lunatic was driving over 250 miles per hour on US I-245. Suspect appears to be Asian with a red vest. Honestly, <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed because I had no idea that minivans could even go that fast. Sir, please step out of the vehicle. I am not going back to jail, toodaloo, motherfucker! Here's how to negotiate a good deal at a car dealership. So your total is 4500 Please sign here. Well, I want $10,000 off the price of the car. Sir, but it's only 4500 He doesn't know that I know this. I have a gun. So Johnny's mom goes, hey, Johnny, we're going to go to the neighbor's house. They just had a new baby, so we're going to say hi. But I'm going to tell you something. He was born without any ears. If you say anything with the word ears in it or anything like that, you'll be grounded and you're going to get a beating you won't forget. Well, Johnny's like, oh, mommy, I'm not going to say anything. So they go to the neighbor's house, they bring a gift, and Johnny runs right up to the bassinet. He goes, wow, what a beautiful bassinet. The other mother says, thank you, Johnny. That was very polite to say. Oh, look at those little feet, those little toes, those little hands. What a beautiful baby. And the mom goes, wow, you're really excited about our baby. That's going to be great. You two are going to grow up next to each other and everything. He goes, look at those big blue eyes. They're the most beautiful blue eyes I've ever seen. Can he see me? Can he see okay? And the mother goes, yeah, he can see he fine the doctor said he's gonna have great eyesight and everything and little johnny goes thank god because i don't know what he'd do if he had to wear glasses it's a bird it's a plane no i think it's definitely a bird <laughs> are you okay man i don't know fellas i think i might be kind of stupid give me one good reason not to quit my job right now because you need money give me one good reason i need money to pay rent give me one good reason i need to pay rent to have a roof over your head Give me one good reason I need a roof over my head. So you don't die. Give me one good reason I don't need to die. Because your family needs you. Yeah, I guess they... Give me one good reason my family need me. Uh, I'm going home. A man and his wife own a ranch and have just lost one of their bulls. They need to replace it, but only have $500. The wife tells her husband, I'll go to the market and see if I can find one for under 500 if I can, I'll send you a telegram. She goes to the market and finds one for four ninety nine. Having only one dollar left, she goes to the telegraph office and finds out that it costs one dollar per word. She's stumped on how to tell her husband to bring the wagon and trailer. Finally, she tells the telegraph operator to send the word comfortable. Skeptical, the operator asks, how will he know to come with a trailer from just that one word? He's a slow reader. Back at the ranch, the husband reads the telegraph. Comfortable. I'm on my way, honey. The ocean is a soup. What's that, honey? The ocean is a soup. Yeah, you're gonna have to walk me through that one, homeboy. What's needed for a soup to be a soup? Okay, let's go with water, vegetables, salt, and me personally, a little bit of meat. Oh my god, the ocean is a soup. The ocean is a soup. The ocean is a soup. Nah, but for real, bro, it has been too long since the last time we hung out. Nah, dude, too long. Yeah. But, but wait, yo, last time we hung out, you told me you had a girl, right? Oh, she broke up with me. Yeah, mm, she yeah. left me for another man. Damn. Oh, shit, sorry, bro. It's all good. Yeah, sorry to bring that up, dude. You couldn't have known. It's good. Yeah, but, but wait, didn't, didn't you have a dog, though? He died last week. My dog died. Shit. Bro, I'm so sorry to bring that up, dude. It's all good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wait, didn't you have two dogs? Yeah, they killed each other. They killed each other. Damn, okay. Shit, bro. Um, well, all right, on a lighter note, maybe next week we, we could get together, go to like Starbucks or something. Their names were Starbucks. Oh, their names were Starbucks? Yeah, yeah it's been but, really hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, okay, well, there's another coffee place near me. They, oh, they sell these dope cookies. We could like get it. They died fighting over a cookie. They died fighting over a cookie. Shit. I am sorry. <laughs> Damn, that's embarrassing. Uh, I cannot catch a break. <laughs> like my uncle before he jumped. What? Hey, how funny would it be if I just let go? What? Well, you know, just like... I trusted you. Stop. Stop. Stop, dude! No, I'm kidding, bro. I'm not that evil. Jeez. Oh, dude, for a second, I thought you were gonna... Uh, when you... What, what you said when he okay, yes, what... What you said when he okay, yes, what... Uh, what the fuck? Papa? Mama? Ziggy's papa? Ne ne papa. Mama. Mama. What the fuck? What 
You know that short people help save the planet? Since smaller people require less food and water, they make a significantly smaller carbon footprint. One study suggests that if the population of the United States alone was 10% taller, they would consume 40 million more tons of food and 16 trillion more gallons of water every single year. The person that sent you this just wants to say thank you for helping save the planet since you're short. Stephanie, I'm at the mall and I see your boyfriend walking around with some fat bitch. Jess, what do you mean? I'm with my boyfriend right now. If you have anxiety, throw it out the window. Self-hatred, out the window. That thing that reminds you of your ex and heartbreak, out the window. That demon that eats your socks, that doesn't even like socks, but eats them to piss you off, out the window. That one baby in the airplane that's making everyone angry, out the window. Oh, no! Don't worry, I caught the baby, everything's fine. Uh, so maybe not everything out the window. I swear to God, steal one more of my cooking utensils, we're done. Our relationship is over. <laughs> well, that's a whisk I'm willing to do. An old man crashes his car into an expensive automobile. The owner of the expensive automobile gets out and he confronts the old man. He tells him, you give me $10,000 cash or I will beat you to a pulp. The old man says, whoa, buddy, I'm sorry, I don't have that kind of money. But let me call my son, he trains dolphins. The old man starts to dial his son, and before he speaks into the phone, the man with the expensive automobile yanks the phone out of his hand and says, So, you train dolphins. Well, your old man damaged my car. You better bring me $10,000 cash right now, or I'm going to beat the heck out of him and you. The son says, I'll be there in 15 minutes. In exactly 15 minutes, a jeep pulls up. Six men get out and start pummeling the man with the expensive car. Meanwhile, the son approaches his father and says, Dad, I train Navy SEALs, not dolphins. And what do we say when somebody does something randomly nice for us? You're being nice to me. What do you want? Or we just say, thank you. Oh, thank you for being nice to me. Yes! Now, what do you want? No. So my sister just got in a lot of trouble. She wanted to make some extra money, so she went around our neighborhood asking the neighbors if they needed any help. So one of my neighbors answered and my sister asked him if he needed any help and he said, I do need my porch painted. How does $50 sound? So my sister agrees and she started working. So my neighbor goes back inside his house and his wife asks him, does she know that the porch wraps around the whole house? And he said, of course she does. She saw it. After she's done with the work, she went to the door to collect the money and she says, I had extra paint, so I put a second coat on it. My neighbor was really impressed, so he paid her $100, and my sister thanks him, and she says, By the way, it's a BMW, not a Porsche. Eric, pronounce this. 1999. Jonathan? Uh, uh, 1888. Brian? 11 11 11. No. Gerald? 1 Martin? 11 Matthew? 1 to the power of 4. I'm surrounded by idiots. These two guys are working in a factory. One guy says to the other, he goes, hey... I bet you I can get the boss to give me a day off. Guy says, how's that gonna happen? Guy says, watch. So he climbs up to the second floor and he hangs upside down. And the boss comes in and he looks up and he sees him. He goes, what are you doing? And the guy says, I'm a light bulb. And the boss goes, I think you've been working too hard. You might be going a little crazy. Why don't you take the day off? So he goes to leave. The other guy follows him out and the boss says, and where do you think you're going? And the guy says, I'm going home. I can't work in the dark. Did you know that koalas have such low intelligence that their brains can't even comprehend rain? However, recent studies have revealed that there is a creature on Earth that is even dumber, and that's you. So this bus crashes on an icy road, bursts into flames, and explodes, killing everyone inside. They all line up outside of heaven, and God greets them at the gate and says, Look, since you all died such a terrible, terrible way, I'm going to grant you each one wish. Now, the lady at the very front of the line has always been obsessed with her looks and how people perceive her, so she says, I wish I was beautiful. So God makes her beautiful, and she waltzes into heaven. Now, the guy behind doesn't know what to decide, so he says, you know what, I wish I was really good-looking, too. And so God makes him good-looking, too, and the guy at the back of the line starts laughing. Now, the couple behind the first two people see them walk in, and they kind of get jealous, and they say, well, we wish we were beautiful, too. And so God makes them beautiful, they walk in, and the guy at the back of the line is laughing even louder. And as every single person wishes to be beautiful, the guy is laughing louder and louder. Eventually, God gets to him and says, what is your wish, my son? And the guy says, make them all ugly again. How's the gambling going, man? It's been six months. Nice, that's great, man. Yeah, I don't think I'll gamble ever again. Yeah? I'll bet you 50 bucks. You're on. Damn it. Thank you. Double or nothing? Sure. Fuck! Uh, sir, it says here that you have a criminal record. Yes, I do. 
Can you tell me why you were arrested? My last interviewer did not hire me and I killed him. You, you start Monday. Dad, is it true that they dropped plane waste from the sky? What? No, who told you that? Mum? Uh, no, it's alright, come outside. James, stop feeding our son lies, you're gonna give him anxiety. It's true, come inside, it's not safe. Oh, for, uh, Jake? It's fine. <gasps> oh, shit! Uh... Get inside! Hey, are you the guy that can only hear every second word? What? Shit. Are, are, you, you, that, that, guy, guy, that, that, can, can, only, only, hear, hear, every, every second, second, word, word. Every second word, 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 every second word. I hate my life. <sighs> um, Stephanie, I went into the kitchen, and there are dishes in the sink. Why are there dishes in the sink? The reason there's dishes in the sink because you keep complaining about the water bill and so in order to help you with the water bill I decided that I was only going to wash dishes at a certain time in the day to save on the water bill. Just go in there and wash that knife. Right, though. Oh my god, I am so tired. You say that literally every day. When are you not tired? When I'm sleeping. Mr. William, it says here in your file that you killed over 30 people in just one day. Is it true? It is true, sir. How did you do that? While driving for work yesterday, two men crossed the road carelessly. I tried to hit the brakes, but it didn't work. I had only two options left, either to hit the men or drive to the other side where there was a group of people at a funeral. Sir, what would you do if you were in my shoes? Well, I guess I would have hit the two men instead. But that's exactly what I did, sir. But I managed to hit only one of the men. But the other one dove into the crowd, so I chased them there to hit him. Three men are in a hospital because their wives are having babies. A nurse goes up to the first man and says, Hey, congratulations, you're the father of twins. The man says, Hey, hey that's weird. I, I play for the Minnesota Twins baseball team. Then the nurse says to the second guy, hey, Congratulations, you're, you're the father of triplets. The man says, uh, That's weird. I work for Triple A. The last man starts banging his head against the wall. The, the nurse says, uh, Are you alright? The man says, No! I work for 7-Up! Bop it. Twist it. Tug it, hug it, love it, date it. Do you want to get chicken or beef? I'm a vegan too. Marry it, catch it. Catch it doing what? Cheating. You've been lying to me all this time? I thought we had something. You're nothing but a trash liar. Dodge it. Dodge what? So I got a couple of fish there, and over there's my parrot. Oh, cool. Shut the f up. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't listen to him. Right. <laughs> I can't let you live. You said some weird stuff. Uh, okay, parrot. See? <laughs> right. Anyway, I also have a cat if you want to see Hide the body. Hide the body. You're not actually paying any attention to him, are you? You know what? Um, if you'll excuse me, I actually have to be going now. God damn parrot. Not again. Whoa, uh hey. I, I was I wasn't even listening to him. <laughs> I can't let you live. I can't let you live. Shut the fuck up! You're late again. What happened this time? Sir, you won't believe it. No fing way. An atheist is taking a walk in the woods when he sees a bear run at him. He screams, God help me! Then the world freezes, and he hears a voice. You deny my existence for years, but only now you wish for my help. The man says, I believe in you. It's too late to make me Christian, I know, but could you make that bear Christian? God says, very well. Time resumes, and the bear stops next to him. Then the bear says, Lord, bless this food which I am about to eat. Hey, excuse me. What's the fastest way to the hospital? Uh, close your eyes, cross the street. <laughs> Is that your car?
You don't see the door open? Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm just getting into a random person's car. I was just trying to say it's a nice car. What a fucking idiot. <sighs> Yo, what the hell are you doing? Hey, did you have to be an asshole just now, or were you born this way? I'm sorry. I knew this was your car. I just wanted to say you had a nice car and didn't know how to break the ice. I understand. Do you? Yeah. Then why go out of your way to make me feel dumb? I don't know. Because you're just... an asshole. Yes. Well, uh, unfortunately, there are consequences for your actions today. <laughs> you're not going to shoot me in broad daylight. I'm not going to shoot you at all. This is a, this is a Nerf gun. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm a... I'm a psychopath. I'm going to stab you. What? Remember, even if you delete things from your browser history, it will still be saved on your router. Until we meet again! When you and your siblings are supposed to be asleep. Yo. Beep beep la poop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut up! You're gonna wake up mom! <laughs> Hey, wake up. You're free to go. What? Why? Somebody bailed you out. What? But I don't... I don't even know anyone. Who the fuck are you? Emmett? Okay, Emmett, did you bail me out of jail? Yeah. Well... Why? I wanted to show you my hat. You bailed me out of jail because you wanted to show me your hat. Yeah, I just bought it. Wasn't my bail like $20,000? 25. So do you like no, it? No, not really, no. So why do you want to marry my daughter? Well, to be honest, sir, she's a fat ass. That's the same reason I married her mother. <laughs> you have my permission. A man is drinking at a bar when he notices a beautiful young lady. Hello, what's your name? The woman giggles and says, Hi, I'm Stacy. What's your name? My name is Billy. Billy, do you want to come over to my house tonight? Billy gets excited and he says, Sure, let's go. Later at Stacy's house, Billy notices a picture of a man on Stacy's desk and asks her, Is this your brother? Stacy giggles and says, No, it isn't. Is it your husband? Stacy giggles even more and says, No, silly. Then he must be your boyfriend. Stacy giggles even more while walking towards Billy and says, No, silly, that's not my boyfriend. I'm confused. Who is it? Stacy looks at him, smiles, and says, That's me before the operation. Johnny and Marissa sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G First comes love, then comes marriage, then comes an abrupt and tragic miscarriage, then comes blame, then comes despair, two hearts damaged beyond repair. Johnny leaves Marissa and takes the tree. D-I-V-O-R-C-E What do you even want with Earth anyways? I plan to rebuild this planet. Bring back the thriving ecosystem that once was and return the extinct animals back to their lands and freedom, true freedom, for all people. Wait a minute, what? Why have we been fighting? That that sounds amazing. We, oh, we're the heroes of this planet. We want to accomplish the same thing. So, like, maybe we team up. Like, what? Well, the first step is to get rid of all minorities. Okay, there it is. There it is. I knew there was something. But, you know, you had me with the plan. The execution needs a little bit of work, okay? I don't I don't really understand the relation between extinct animals and minorities. They I don't relate. They relate. No, they don't. They do. I thought you said you wanted all people to be free. Freedom from minorities, yes. Okay, yeah, now, now everything is starting to make sense. That's why his name is Color Correction. It wasn't clicking before, but but now it is. And the, the M on your chest with the X in it, I, I was like, his name starts with a C. Why does he have an M on his chest? But it means no minorities. No minorities. Right? Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to have to fucking kill you. Hey, boy, pull my finger. <laughs> Hello. I'm inside your house. Okay. Yellow. Why did you hang up? Why did you hang up on me? If you're inside my house, just come talk to me. 
I'm in the closet. <laughs> oh, you're gay? That's cool. No, I'm not gay. I. No, no, no. It's it's all right. My cousin's gay. No, I'm not gay. I'm literally in your closet. Wait, really? <laughs> Who is this? Come find out. Where are you? Are you stupid or something? I just said I'm in your closet. Oh yeah. <laughs> You're getting closer. I told you I was in the closet. Oh, you haven't told anyone you're gay yet? No, dude, I'm not gay. Wait, so what are you doing here? I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty, and I was just wondering if I- A pirate ship was traveling in the sea when they saw an enemy ship. The captain says, men, bring me my red shirt. They fought the enemy ship and won. The next day, they came across three enemy ships. The captain yells to the crew, men, bring me my red shirt. Then they somehow won that battle as well. The next day, a crew member asked the captain, Why do you always wear your red shirt in battle? Well, the captain responded, There's a good chance I might get hurt in battle. So if my blood blends in with my shirt, you guys won't be as scared. Then they see about a hundred enemy ships coming towards them. The captain yells, Men! Bring me my brown pants. Alright class, let's do an icebreaker. Let's go in a circle, say what you want to be when you grow up, starting with Timmy. I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be dead like both of my parents. Okay, let's take out our books. Let's do some reading. What's up? We're just going to act like he didn't just say that? Hello? Okay, what do you want me to do? Call his parents? Hey, did you hear the news about the doctor? What doctor? Guess. Uh, Doctor Strange? Nope. Doctor Who? Nope, not him. The doctor who did my prostate exam yesterday and told me I have two weeks to live. No, not, not that doctor. Oh, the anticipation's killing me more than the sting of my prostate. Just tell me who it is. Uh, Dr. Pepper is releasing a cream soda. Oh, that's awesome. When's it come out? Uh, three weeks. Dang. All right, all right, ten more seconds. Come on, guys. If any of you come down, I'll make a personal promise to make your life hell. Ten, nine, eight. Sir, did you just come down? I'm sorry, sir. I just couldn't hold it any longer. Oh, that's okay. We all make mistakes. Just not in my class. Now, who else wants to come down? You, sir, what's your reason for being here? Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm, so, I'm sorry, you don't what? I, I just don't know. Well, you better know soon. No, please don't shoot me. Now answer me. Why are you doing this? I really don't know, sir. Please spare me. You better come up with an answer. I really don't know. Is it your family? Maybe, I, I don't know. Is it your friend? Maybe, sir. Is it your physical well-being? It could be. Oh, what is it, son? Speak up. I want to get to 169 pounds, sir. What? 169 pounds for the memes, sir. For the what? The memes. Everyone come down. Let's <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. This is Todd. Hi. This is Todd's mom. Hi. In a moment, Todd's mom will read her son's internet browsing history. Dad, can you help me write this love letter to Amy? Sure, what do you have? Dear Amy. Okay, how are you? I'm fine, just writing this letter to Amy. Right. How are you? Okay. How are you? Now what? Tell her what you did today. I master. Nope, nope, it. something else. Like what? Tell her where you went. I went pee at the gas station. No, I mean the movies. Oh, I went to the movies. What else? What did you see? A movie, dumbass. You just. Which movie, Derek? Sing 2. You was there. What Tell the... her, Derek. Oh, I saw Sing 2. Perfect. Anything else? You can add, I love you. Yep. My dad loves me. Perfect. She definitely gonna want to f me now. This TikTok will show you if you're a psychopath. Here's a picture of a guy with a cheeseburger for a head eating his own head. Pretty funny, right? Well, hopefully it's not so funny now that you know he's doing it next to a sick person in the hospital. How about this one? This is a funny squirrel with its cheeks full of corn at a grave site next to two mourning parents. Last one, surely this is just a dog with its snoot stuck in a piece of bread. And you're right, it is. So it's okay to laugh at this picture if you think World War I trench warfare is funny. There's hell in hello. There's an end in friend. There's a lie in believe. There's an over in lover. And there's a good in goodbye. There's fun in funeral. One day this blind man goes into this local restaurant owned by this husband and wife. He sits down. The guy who owns the restaurant is also the service. So he walks up and he asks the guy if he wants to see a menu. And the guy says, well, I'm blind, but if you bring me a dirty fork, I'll sniff it and then I'll order my food. Waiter's confused, but he goes in the kitchen, gets a dirty fork, brings it to the blind man. The blind man sniffs it and goes, I'll have meatloaf, mashed potatoes and gravy, uh, corn on the cob, and a Coke. Waiter gets it, brings it out to him. 
Guy eats it, enjoys his meal, pays the bill and leaves. Next week, the guy comes into the restaurant again. Server sees him, thinks ahead, runs into the kitchen, goes up to his wife and he says, Hey, Brenda, take this spoon, rub it all over your private parts. She does it. Waiter brings it out, gives it to the blind man, he takes a whiff and he goes, Oh, I didn't know Brenda worked here. Yo, son, you should study more. But why? So you can get good grades. Then what? You'll get a good paying job. Then? You'll get a big house, a nice car, and have a better life. Okay, then? And then you'll be able to relax. What do you think I'm doing right now? Oh, great heavens! Guy wakes up to a gorilla on his roof. So he Googles, and he finds a gorilla removal service. So he calls, and the guy says, I'll be there in 30 minutes. 30 minutes later, the guy shows up. He gets out of his van, and he's got a ladder, a baseball bat, a shotgun, and a mean old pit bull. And the homeowner says, so what are you going to do? And the guy says, I'm going to set up the ladder. I'm going to go up the ladder. I'm going to knock the gorilla off the roof with the baseball bat. He's going to fall. At that point, the pit bull is trained to grab the gorilla's testicles, and he's not going to let go. Then, I'm going to take the gorilla, I'm going to put him in a cage, put him in a van, and get the hell out of here. And the homeowner says... Okay, so the guy gets his stuff, he walks towards the ladder. Just before he goes up, he hands the homeowner a shotgun. And the homeowner says, what's this for? And the guy says, in case that gorilla knocks me off the roof, you shoot that fucking dog. Okay, Jimmy, so we're going to take a quick look at your vision. Okay. Okay, look right here and tell me what you see. I see a virgin in his 40s. Get the fuck out. <laughs> the doc, I'm literally blind. Shut the fuck up. Get out. I said get the fuck out. Yo, you guys want to go get some D-E-S-S-E? -S -S -E? Yeah, dude, I need me a T R E A T. What you guys talking about? Yeah, why did you guys just spell the? No, no, no! Shut up! Don't say it. Uh, why? Oh God, how do we tell you this? Simon can't spell. What? He can't spell. So when we talk about something he wants, we spell it out loud so he doesn't get too excited. He's a grown man. He can't handle hearing the word treat. Treat? No treat. Treat? No treat. Treat? No treat. Oh. No okay, what is happening? We told you he gets excited when he hears the word T R E A T. What you talking about? Taxes. Oh, shucks. What, so you guys just treat him like a toddler? Treat? No treat. Treat? No treat. Treat? No treat. Oh. Dude, you gotta spell if you're talking about F-O-O-D. Okay, so are we getting an S-N-A-C-K? Snack? Oh, come on, oh, man. Dude, really? Oh, come on, I spelled it. Well, he knows how to spell snack. So he can spell snack, but he can't spell treat? Treat? No treat. Treat? No treat. Treat? No treat. God damn it. Okay, he's getting fussy. It's time for an N-A-P. Yeah. What does N-A-P spell? Party. <gasps> Let's do a knock knock joke. Okay. Knock knock. Who's there? Mom Fox. Mom Fox who? Everybody. <laughs> Guys, who wants to play uh, Two Truths, One Lie? <gasps> Ooh, me. What's that? It's basically where you tell your friends two truthful statements and one lie, and they have to guess what the lie was. Uh, here, I'll go first. Michael, uh, my favorite food is pizza, I hate Game of Thrones, and I love Fortnite. <sighs> Uh, the Fortnite one's a lie, because you hate Fortnite. Yeah, you got it. That one was too easy. Ooh, okay, my turn, my turn. All right, go. Uh, I hate anime. Sometimes I speak to myself for hours on end, and I'm the one who ran over Michael's cat. Well, obviously you didn't run over Michael's cat, so... Yeah. Ha! Wrong! Yes! Ah, what a piece of cake. Too easy, guys. Jimmy, that's not okay. You ran over Michael's cat. <laughs> yeah, what the... Oh, 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 I got another one. No, I think we should stop now. Uh, really... I've slept with your girlfriend. I poisoned your drink. And our old friend Sam didn't really go missing. He's actually buried in my backyard. Oh, wait, I did that wrong. Oh, thank God. All three of those were truths. <laughs> you know, I really like this game. Two friends are out in the woods hunting when one of them suddenly collapses. He's not breathing and his eyes start rolling into the back of his head. His other friend starts panicking, pulls out his phone, and calls 911. He yells at the operator, I think my friend is dead, what can I do? The operator says, sir, I need you to calm down. First, let's make sure he's dead. It's silent for a moment, and then the operator hears a loud gunshot. ra ta 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 ta, -ta. The man picks the phone back up and says, now what? Siblings, 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 this is my sister. This is my brother. We are siblings and we care for each other. Everything we own, we always share. Because we are siblings and we have the same hair. I like knitting. And I like coins. We both came out of the same loins. If you don't like siblings, give us a chance. We'll impress you with our sibling dance. Hey, what's that? We have an older brother. We thought there were two. But there is another. He's always busy and he has short hair. But he's one of us, so we don't care. Come on, Patrick, snap out of that trance. It's time to do a sit. Guys, guys, I can't. 
focus, I can't read, I can't get any of my work done with you guys making this racket about sibling dances. Sometimes I think I can talk to plants. Come on, let's do a sibling dance. A man is praying to God. He says, God, I have one question for you. How do you perceive time? God replies, a million years to me is just a minute. Then the man says, and what about money? God says, a million dollars to me is just a penny. So the man thinks and says, God, can I have a penny? God says, sure, just a minute. Hey, hey. Dad dyed his hair, but dad's bald, his arm hair. Oh, and, and mom's leaving him. Go out with his college buddies tonight. He hasn't seen them in ages. Okay. Oh, and, and your ex-girlfriend texted me. What? She's been missing for six years. Well, they found her. Dead. Oh, and I nearly forgot, I'm going to jail tomorrow. Sorry. <laughs> to visit Uncle Bob. Oh. Yeah, they're giving him the lethal injection on Monday. What? What? Why? Do you not remember? You replaced all the water in the house with poison. <laughs> that only kicks in when you spit it out. <laughs> Seven times. What was plan A? Don't fuck up. And what was plan B? Don't fuck up plan A. And what did you do? Fucked up you plan fucked A. You fucked up plan A. Sexy caramel. Who the fuck is this? Hello? Yo, what's good? Let me talk to Keisha. You wanna talk to Keisha? Bro, who's you? What you mean, who's me? I'm Tyrone. I'm Keisha's man. Keisha's man? Bro, I'm her husband. Husband? I've been with Keisha for like eight months, homie. What? That's my wife of five years, homie. Oh, hell nah. Yo, when you talk to Keisha, let her know I ain't paying half that rent no more. I ain't paying for that car note. I'm cutting the fucking Netflix off. And she can forget about that grocery money I've been giving her every week. We, oui. you do all that shit? Yo, homie, I was just playing, man. I'm actually Keisha's cousin. So as soon as she gets back in, man, I'm gonna let her know you called, all right? Don't got me fucked up. We almost lost a good one. Oh my God. Granny just fell over. Somebody call 911. Granny fucking dying on the dance floor. Oh my god. What do you want to do with your life? I want to get married and have a beautiful family. I want to go back to college and become a lawyer. I want to eat a whole bag of wasps. I want to open my own business. Did the last guy say he wants to eat wasps? I want to save up enough money and travel the world. Imagine soup, right? But full of ants. Ants? What does he want? Oh, um, uh, I, w I want to be a... I forget. I'm not the biggest fan of spiders, but if I'm hungry, I'll have a few. I want to be a... Hang on. How did I get here? Where am I? I had a massive tapeworm inside me, and it, it got cancer and died. <laughs> Millipedes? Oh, no. Ugh. But centipedes? I don't know where I am. Please send me. Hey, Bowie, what you eating? Choco Dunks. They're super addicting. Do you want some? Mm, I'll just try one. Oh, man, these are great. Huh? Stay back. I told you, I don't have any one. So hold on, wait. My parents were murdered. Yeah. And you know who did it. Yeah. And you knew he was going to do it. Yeah. Doesn't that make you an accessory to murder? He... Are you a fed? He a bitch. Your mama hoe. You know what my mom can do and your mom can't? Breathe. It's because my mom knew how to fight back, unlike yours. You think domestic abuse is funny? Only when it's happening to you? God damn! That's why your bitch ass spent Father's Day at a graveyard. Bitch, your daddy no magic and still be punching the shit out your mama. Why your dad's nickname is Maggots. Your dad nicknamed Mike Tyson. God damn! Harry, you can't talk to a teacher like that. Bitch, I'm Harry Potter. Who gon' check me? You need to check in with a psychiatrist, you fucking orphan. You need to check in with a dentist. That overbite is overpowering. You mad at me because I'm better at making potions. You need to get better at making friends. God damn! Bro, Harry, what's the problem? Problem is, you're over the age of 50 and don't know how to work a shower. Bitch, you were getting face tats at five months old. You're a furry. You're a SoundCloud rapper. You know what's funny about you, Hagrid? You weren't a good wizard so you got expelled. You weren't a good giant so your mom left. And you weren't a good son because you couldn't save your dad's life. God damn! How to fall off a staircase. Step 1, Step 2, Step 3, Step 6, Step 11, Step 16, Floor. Tell us where you hid the bodies. No. Tell us where you hid the bodies, please. No. Now, if you were to hypothetically say, hide some bodies, um, where would you hide the bodies? You know what he's really good at? What? Telling us where you hid those bodies. <sighs> Can you please tell us where you hid the bodies? Okay. Really? No! Tell us where you hid the bodies or I'll tell him! He's crazy! He'll do it! We will! <clears throat> 
Hey man, I've got a bunch of dead bodies that I need to hide. Oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure where though. I'm thinking the attic, but um... Yeah, that is a tough one. Where do you think you should hide the bodies? I've got some good news, boys. We found the bodies. What? Yeah, and you'll never guess where we found them. I'm not telling you where the bodies are. Fuck. Oh, just tell us where the bodies are! I'm so hungry! Look, look, man, man. It's alright. We've got bodies at home. Really? Yeah. Oh, we don't need your soul. Yeah. See ya, enjoy See ya. jail. Oh my goodness, she's beautiful. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. I want to make her my wife. I want to make her my princess. Mm. Mm. Your Highness, what the fuck are you doing? What? She's the love of my life. She's unconscious. Just one more. Mm. Nah, you're a menace. But I'm reporting you to the king. No, no this wait. This gotta be treason. Oh my god. Hey, yo, stupid! Watch where you're going, you almost stepped on my shoes! Do you guys know who this clown is talking uh, to? I was talking to you, duh! No? Me either! He must not know where I'm from! Time to get the map! I'm the map! Here! Take a look and see where I was raised! Um, slap a hug? Well, now that you've seen where I'm from, do you still want smoke? Or do I have to show you what's oh, in my backpack? No! Are you sure you don't want to see what's in my backpack? Yes, I'm sure! Okay! Welcome to McDonald's with you, water, bro. Can I get an Oreo made flurry, yeah? We're not serving ice cream right now. It's broken at the moment, can I get you something, yeah? Oh, I know you gonna say that. Let me go in and my seven chair the bag. So you gotta calm down and accept that. I know your ice cream machine working at a stall cap. I'm not lying, it's broken. Well, it better be, cause I ain't coming in. And oh. if you're coming in, I'll get your ass pinned. Then I'ma fight you over ice cream then. Hey, Dad. What? Say I'm a man after everything I say. Why? Just do it. Fine. You broke up with mom. I'm a man. You decided to get drunk. I'm a man. You went to a bar. I'm a man. You found a hot girl there. I'm a man. You invited her back to your house and she said yes. I'm a man. You both went upstairs. I'm a man. You slept together. I'm a man. You woke up in the morning. I'm a man. You realize she's still there. I'm a man. She turns around and say, I'm a man. Oh, great heavens! Come in. Matt, uh, you here for piano lessons? I'm sorry, I'm late, I know. Are you okay? How do people do this? What do you I mean? Can't, I can't get that piano up the stairs. Oh my gosh, did you bring your own piano? Wasn't I supposed to? No, I have one here in the studio. I was at Guitar Center for three hours. I had to take out a loan. You bought a piano just for this? And it wouldn't fit in my car. So how did you get it here? <laughs> I had to pull it the whole way. Oh, that's like 10 miles. Mostly downhill. And there's a lot of bridges. Oh, there is a lot of bridges. And now it won't fit in the elevator because the guitar center guy convinced me to get the biggest one. Why didn't you just ask me about this? I just didn't want to look dumb. I didn't want you to think I wasn't taking this seriously. Brothers, in my hand is father's will. Okay, well, hurry up and open it. Yeah, it's not making us wait. Crack this code to inherit my wealth. What the fuck? <laughs> it says here that your power is invisibility? Uh, yep, that's me. That's, that's actually incredible. That we could definitely use that for, like, some intel or something, man. Well, like, thing is, I have to do a backflip to activate it. Then just do a backflip. I can't do a backflip. Then you can't go invisible. I mean, I no, no, no. Like, like, I can still go invisible. I can still do it, like, activate it. But I, I can't, like, uh, let me just, let me show you what I'm talking about. Is that the way? Oh, he not he got a concussion. He got a concussion. Hi, and welcome to the show where I tell really mean jokes really close to my face. How do you make a mailman cry? Kill his family. 
This guy comes home from a long business trip, and he sees his son riding a brand new bicycle. And he looks at him, and he goes, where'd you get that bicycle? It must have cost $300. And the kid says, well, Dad, I earned it hiking. And he goes, don't you lie to me. You tell me the truth. And he goes, Dad, I am telling you the truth. Every night you were gone, Mr. Reynolds would come over and see Mom, and he would always give me $20 and tell me to go take a hike. Oh, this is so fucking stupid. They're not even coming. Just sit there and wait. They'll be here soon. Easy for you to say. I have to stay alert the whole time while you just sit there and do nothing. Well, excuse me. I'm the one providing sun. You wouldn't be here for one for me. I'm basically your father. No. You're well, lying. That doesn't even make any sense. sense. Shut up. You're so annoying. Shut up, Lawnmower. You don't even do anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah? What happened last game? Both of y'all asses got eaten and I had to come save the day. Yeah, and I'm coming in for round two. Where are you at? Yeah, try it again. You literally got lucky last time. There's like four of Yo, you. Yo, guys, stop fighting. Shut up, Dave. This guy with no arms goes into a bar. He sees that there's no one in the bar except the bartender. So he walks up to the bar, orders a drink. Bartender gives him the drink. The guy, who has no arms, he says, Hey, you think you can get the wallet out of my pocket and take the money out and pay for the drink? Bartender says, Yeah, sure. Then the guy asks him, You think you can hold the drink up to my lips till I'm done drinking? Because I got no arms. Bartender says, All right, sure. When he's done with his drink, the guy says, Hey, you think you can take a napkin and you can wipe the foam off my mouth? Because, you know... I got no arms. Bartender says, yeah, sure. They sit in silence for a second. Then the bartender says, look, I don't want to be rude, but it must be very difficult to have no arms and to ask people to always do things for you. And the guy says, yeah, it gets pretty embarrassing. Hey, by the way, where's the restroom? And the bartender says, oh, the closest one is at the gas station three blocks down. Your dad has powers? Yeah, he's been invisible my whole life, see? That's horrible, Billy. How's it horrible? Oh, shit. So my mom decided to visit me, but the problem is my roommate's a girl. So she came over for dinner and she wouldn't stop talking about how pretty my roommate was. Throughout the course of the dinner, she's like really observing me and the roommate. And I can see that she's kind of getting suspicious about it. So me noticing this, I'm like, Ma, I know what you're thinking, but I can assure you we're just roommates. Anyways, the dinner passes and about a week later, my roommate comes up to me and was like, ever since your mother came for dinner, I haven't been able to find any of the silver plates. She said, now I'm not saying that she took it, but do you think she took it? I'm like, nah, I don't think so, but I could text her and ask. I text her and I said, mom, I'm not saying that you did take the silver plates from my house, but I'm also not saying that you didn't take them. But the fact of the matter is they've been missing ever since you came. She texted me back about 30 minutes later and she said, I'm not saying you do sleep with your roommate, but I'm not saying you don't. But the fact of the matter is if she was sleeping on her own bed, she'd notice them under her pillow. There is only one thing worse than a rapist. Boom. A child. No. Einstein sits next to a man on a flight. He says, let's play a game. We ask each other questions, and if you don't know the answer to my question, you pay me $5. But if I don't know the answer to your question, I pay you $500. He agrees, and Einstein asks, what's the distance between the Earth and the Moon? The man does not know, so he gives Einstein $5. The man then asks Einstein, uh, what goes up on a hill with three legs, but comes down on four? Einstein thinks about it for a long time, but he, he can't figure it out, so after an hour, he finally gives the man $500. Einstein then says, so what was the answer? Then the man reaches into his pocket and gives Einstein $5. Bro, what? When did that happen? Hold on, I'm sending it to you, I don't know. Uh, it was so weird. Oh shit, my mom texted me two hours ago. I need you to wash the dishes before I get back? Oh shit, dudes, I gotta Grant go- Grant fucking Daniel McFlurry, Demarcus, Umbologus, Rinaldius, Whistler, the 24! Yo, what the? What happened to the lights? No! This little boy has this toy airplane that he loves to play with. He's in the living room playing with it. His mother's in the kitchen listening to him. And she hears him go, Vroom, vroom, vroom. All you motherfucking people who want to get on, get on. All you motherfucking people who want to get off, get off. The mother, very angry, runs out, grabs the plane, and sends the kid upstairs to his room. About 15 minutes later, she goes back upstairs and she looks at him and she says, All right, listen. You can play with the plane if you don't use that foul language. Kid agrees. Goes back into the living room. Mom goes back into the kitchen. Mom listens. Vroom, vroom. All you wonderful people who want to get on, get on. All you wonderful people who want to get off, please get off. And if you have a problem with the 15-minute delay, you can go talk to that fucking bitch in the kitchen. Oh, my God, that exam was horrible. Oh, yeah, I know. What'd you get for question five? Oh, I'll put 250. You got 250? Yeah. What would you get? I got 17. <laughs> Unlucky. Oi, Winston, you're smart. What'd you get for question five? Oh, I think I got 17 on that one. 
Wait, what? Yes, yeah, say. It was, yeah, it was 17. Yeah, it's 17. definitely 17. Yeah, I got 17. Yeah, I got 17. Uh, well, maybe I'm right and you're all wrong. Yeah, well, I doubt it. What'd you get for the last one? Question 40. Question 40? Yeah, did you not turn the page over? Fuck. Answer the question. Why me? I didn't even raise my hand. Don't answer the question. Like, why can't you pick him to answer? Because he's always quiet and doesn't disturb the class like you do. I'll be quiet if you ask him instead. Fine. What comes after C? Or. What comes after R? PG. What comes after A? K47. What comes after X? Explosion. Oh, great heavens! Everyone run! People always talk about God's plan, but they never talk about the devil's plan. I like to think that they, they take turns writing. It's like, serial killer gets struck by lightning and gets superpowers. Orphan buys winning lottery ticket, but he needs his parents to sign the paperwork. People work together and build an unsinkable boat. It sinks. Okay, well that's not fair at all. My girlfriend's dog died the other day and she was really depressed. So me being the nice guy I am, I decided to cheer her up. I bought her an identical dog, but it ended up making her even more sad. She screamed at me and said, what the hell am I supposed to do with two dead dogs? So this word is our, which means this word is sour, which means this word is tower, tour. You don't see how it's because it's like not the same. like. That's why. Okay. Yep. Here, how about this one? If we take this R and we make it a P, what's this word now? It'd be salp. As in chicken noodle salp? No, it's soup. You don't see how. It's because the P makes the O-U oop. That's why. But now that you know that, let's say this P is an L. Now what's this word? Soul. No, it's soul. You don't see, okay. Clearly, I'm not doing my job well enough. Hey, um, why did the chicken cross the road? I don't, uh, I don't know. Uh, because chicken lost his job. Chicken is broke. <laughs> chicken strips. <laughs> Can you explain why you intentionally drove your car at 100 miles an hour through your best friend's wall in the middle of the night? You nearly killed him. Explain. He said I was always welcome to crash at his place. <laughs> I find you guilty of attempted murder. Come on, get up, let's fight, let's go. You'll lose. Oh yeah, and why is that? Because you were forsaken at birth. What? Oh, oh, oh. You don't understand, do you? No. Your kind will never prosper. Hey, what are you doing? Bro! What is this? What have you done to me? Hey, uh, guess what? What? Well, you have to guess. I, uh, I don't know. What? Granddad's in hospital. Why would you make me guess that? I was trying to make it fun. I thought you liked quizzes. Yeah, as like games on my phone, not... Is he okay? Uh, give me your phone, I'll do it as a quiz. Just tell me! I, ca I can't use it anyway. It's dead. Oh. That, that's a coincidence. Because I can't use my phone either. Oh. oh I thought you meant Grandad. Because Grandad swallowed what? it. What? Choked to death. Oh, yeah. God. Dad, what are you doing? I am warming up to beat your ass. What? Why? Your teacher called today. Say you got B plus and mess. No, that's impossible. I have straight A's. You lied to me again, huh? Oh shit. I called the wrong parents. Oh well, I think wait till tomorrow. What's your fortune cookie say? It says there's a bomb that's gonna explode in a couple minutes, bro. We We gotta stay. What? I, I don't know. For some reason, I don't want to leave. I feel okay. almost like compelled by fate to stay. What does yours say? Hey Mike, uh, can we talk in private? Oh, yeah, uh, why? Somebody following you? No, th this is the problem. I'm sick of you pretending to be a detective. Oh. Uh, well. You accused our chiropractor of being a fraud. I uh, had a hunch, okay? And I still had one afterwards. I don't yeah. even see you in the bedroom anymore. Yeah, because I have to be undercover. I've told you this. Mike. We need to split up. <laughs> Good idea.
We'll cover more ground. No! So it says here you're fast with math? Extremely. That's impressive. What's 31 times 17? 47. It's not even close, but it was fast. Welcome to the team. Replace the T with a D equal Indian? Really? Don't. Don't. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I hope your mom and dad call you down saying dinner's ready. You get downstairs and sit at the table and they've not even dished it up yet. I hope when you go to sleep and you wake up in the morning, the bed sheets come off the bed and you have to put it back on. I hope <laughs> that you just get paralyzed and you have to watch reruns of Friends. I hope that your touch ID doesn't work on your phone. I hope a really long hair somehow gets into your sock and wraps itself around you too. I hope you go to get a whisper out of the food cupboard. Pick up the packet and it's empty. I hope you get shot in the head. <laughs> I hope the next time you use hand sanitizer, it takes too long to rub into your hands and you have to eventually wipe out your jeans. I hope you find a bread loaf full of end loafs. That's awful. <laughs> that's, that's brutal. Disgusting. That's just the worst thing. <laughs> so we got your test results back. Oh, okay. Did I pass? <laughs> <laughs> Well, there and done. <laughs> what? No, it's nothing. It's just, you know. If you've got something to say, just say it. Well, it's just not very good, is it? What? I mean, the, the sky looks nothing like that. Yeah, but it's my interpretation. All right. What's your problem? No, it's, you know, just maybe there's a reason why you've only sold one painting your whole life. You've always got something negative to say, haven't you? Well, it's hardly anything positive to say. Right, I've had enough of you. Oh, you've had enough of me, have you? Yeah, I have actually. Yeah? Yeah. And what are you gonna do about it? <sighs> Did not see that coming. Okay guys, so this is what not to do. And those were the last words George the firearm safety instructor ever said. Hey guys, look, it's opposite day. And those were the last words Jerry the electric chair operator ever said. So like, what time will you be here? Hey, what do I do with this? Hold on, Dave. And that was the last thing Dave the Grenade Catcher ever heard. Okay, what would you do if Medusa was here right now? I'd probably freak out. Well, Bill, why don't you take a look at who's standing behind you? <gasps> and that was the last thing Bill ever saw. Pour it over your head. Call him a fucking <laughs> Kill him. You alright, man? Slit his fucking throat and watch him drown and fucking do it. Ah! I don't see what the big deal is. The big deal? Charlie is dead! Yeah, it's a murder mystery party. It's a game! No one's supposed to actually die! That wasn't stated in the rules. It shouldn't have to be! Okay, now I know. Y you mean you were the killer? Oh man! Looks like I won. Did ya? Can somebody tell me what this is? Uh, that's a triangle. So, prove it to me. He's got three sides, man. It's a fucking triangle. But prove it to me. Just look at it, man. We got A squared, B squared, and motherfucking C squared up in that bitch. Why? Just look at the thing. It's a fucking triangle. Prove it's a triangle, then. Oh, I'll fucking prove it's a triangle, all right? Turn around and give me okay, a remote. Okay, please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Wait, Greg? M Mark? <laughs> Holy crap, oh my Greg, god, Mark, long time no man. It's been a while. Yeah, it has. Hey, get down on your knees real quick. How you been, man? Uh, just got back in town for vacation. How you been? Oh, I've been great. But hey, you still date that girl Jessica? Nah, me and her broke up a while back. But remember Stephanie from math class? Uh, yeah, I think I remember her. <gasps> Wow. It's our anniversary today. Congratulations, man. Yeah, it's been six years already. <laughs> yeah, cute kids, too. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, well, I'm about to pistol whip you, but it was nice seeing you again. Yeah, you too. All right, take care. Freeze! Put the gun down and put your hands up. Tony? Greg? Tony? M Mark? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. I can't believe this. The gang's all here. You will never, ever get away with it. Okay, um, let's wrap this up. Uh... I made reservations at Applebee's. Dude, that's my 
window. Let him go. You killed him. My window. Yo, we have a front door, man. Why did you kill him? That window gonna cost me a lot of money. Did you even go over your evil plan? No. It's none of y'all damn business. Excuse me, can somebody get me an estimate on this, please? Are, are you new to this? You're supposed to go over your evil plan with him, which then gives me enough time to swoop in and save him. That's evil villain 101. Can bro. someone call Frank, please, to fix this window? You are going to pay for this. My damn window. Just gonna check and see if the house is safe before I go to bed. Hey, are there any stabbers down there? No, it's okay. Okay, good. What is C4? C4, C4 is a fucking explosive. Pre workout. No, what is C4? It's a C is for cock. I'm What's your costume? Like Cookie monster. What is C4? Oh. Cookies. It's about time you fed me, bitch. Ow. The fuck is you doing? No, I should get it because I always get 100% on my tests, but I've never skipped a day of class. What are you two arguing about? We found this $20 bill and decided to give it to whoever could tell the biggest lie. You should be ashamed of yourselves. When I was your age, I didn't even know what a lie was. Ah, you win. <laughs> Scalpel? Give me the anesthesia. <laughs> the anesthesia? Uh, sorry, doctor. There's only one injection available here. But we only need one. I already gave it to you. When? When you just asked me. Oh. Shit. I think the anesthesia is working now. All right, class. Today we're going to be studying words that end in ing. Anyone want to get us started? Anyone? Napping. Very good, little Susie. Sleeping. Wow, even better, Zane. Great word. Jogging. Very good. Running. Wow. Skipping. Skipping's fun. Jumping. Flying. Soaring. Oh, wow. You guys know a lot of words. Hand gliding. Skydiving. It's much scarier. Why wow, you guys are really smart. Spurlunking. Silversmithing. Stereographing. Circumscribing. Aren't you guys like five years old? Circumcising. What's that? <laughs> you wouldn't know. Disemboweling. Dismembering. Okay, this is turning dark real quick. Disengaging, non-threatening, condescending, overthinking, misunderstanding, forgiving, enchanting, <laughs> blushing. <laughs> the fuck? Can people make mistakes? Yes. And it's okay. Of course. And you support them as they grow and develop their talents. Absolutely. I love to watch people grow. But if you made a mistake... I made a mistake! <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 I'm If, garbage. if you made a mistake. Oh, you better speak up. I almost lost my cool there. No, if I make a mistake, it's absolutely devastating. Why? Because it means I was never any good at anything to begin with? Duh, I'm obviously an imposter who sits upon a throne of lies. But that's not the case for other people? Of course not. Everyone deserves grace. Except for me. I seriously can't believe you did it at my grandma's funeral. I don't understand why it's such a it's big- It's common sense! Apparently, I was not supposed to play Clash of Clans at his grandma's funeral. How the hell was I supposed to know that? Oh, that's a cute baby. Thanks. Which one's yours? Excuse me, which kid is yours? Why do you ask? Well, it was just small talk, but now you got me curious. Which, which kid is yours? It's actually none of your business. Well, I'm a concerned parent wondering why a fully grown man is here at a children's park by himself. Uh... That's my boy. Which one? Let's call his name. Bruno. Bruno? Where is he? R right there by the trash can. Hold up, that's literally a dirty homeless man eating a banana peel. Okay, you're just a sick pervert and I'm gonna call the Daddy? Did someone call me? Oh, he's adorable. Excuse me. Hey, what can I do for you today? Hey, um, yesterday I purchased a boomerang from here and it turned out to be faulty. Faulty? Yeah. Um, okay. Where is it? I have no idea. Right. Because you know, when you throw a boomerang, it's always meant to come. I just broke up with my girlfriend. And I just broke six of my ribs. Twice. What? And my son's funeral is tonight and my wife doesn't know. That you broke six ribs or that your that son? That I killed our son because he's the one that broke Jesus. six of my ribs. F***ing Christ, Joseph. Hey honey, how about you come in here and meet my new boyfriend? Not now, mom, I'm busy. 
Hey champ, how are you? Oh, you don't like champ? How about Kingslayer 14? I've not used that name in years. Oh, I know. Ten years ago, Modern Warfare 2, you drop shot me. I said I'd bang your mom. You said there's no way. But here I am. All right, so you said this is your first driving lesson, right? Yeah, sorry if I'm a little nervous. Don't worry, I'm here to get you comfortable behind the wheel. In due time, you'll- Wait, 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 yeah, stop, yeah, stop, wait, stop! What, what, Can you believe gas prices these days? I mean, look at that sign, it says six bucks. Oh, Jeez. God, I, I thought I did something wrong. No, nah, you're doing great, man, I just wanted- Wait, 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 yeah, stop, what, stop, what, stop! What? We're not moving. Oh, good, sorry, I forgot to take my medication today. Everything's spinning around. <laughs> what? All right, just uh, pick up my kids from soccer practice and we can wrap this up. Pick up your kids? Yeah, and don't mention their mom left me yesterday. I didn't know that. Now hit the gas and never look back. Just like Sheila didn't. Repeat after me. I can do this. I can do this. I'm ready to burn some calories. I'm ready to burn some calories. I'm done eating fast food and drinking alcohol. I'm ready to burn some calories. All right. I will show you how to get infinite wishes. Yo, Sammy Genie, I'll grant you two wishes, but no wishing from wishes and no wishing from Reginis. Now, what will it be? What if I did have infinite wishes, but I only had like five seconds to say all the wishes that I wanted? You really think you could say more than one wish in five seconds? Fine! You have until that clock hits five seconds. I'm watching. Go. I wish I could control time. Awesome. Oh, what's happening? Oh, I just put a time bubble around us so everywhere outside the bubble, time is frozen. <gasps> no. Okay, so maybe you get infinite wishes right now in this moment, but as soon as you unfreeze time to be able to do things in the world, that's it. You don't get more wishes. I wish to create a parallel universe just like this one, except time is not frozen, but it remains frozen here. <gasps> Perfect. Normal world here, and that clock you pointed at originally, never hitting five seconds. Excuse me, sister, please can I hide under your skirt? I'll explain later. Yes, of course you can, my son. Quickly. Sister, have you seen a soldier running past here? Yes, soldier. He went that way. Thank you. Let's get him. Oh, thank you so much, sister. You see, I don't want to go into battle and they're forcing me to be here. Oh, it's okay. I understand completely. I hope I'm not being rude, but you have a great pair of legs. Well, if you looked a little high, you would have seen a great pair of balls as well. Wait, sorry? I don't want to go into battle either. A guy walks up to a bar and asks the bartender, how much for a beer? The bartender says, it's free. The guy is really happy and says, okay, how much for a sirloin, some mashed potatoes, a salad, and an entire cheesecake for dessert? The bartender says one dollar. The guy says, okay, I'll take it all, and the bartender gives him his food. After he's done eating, he says, wow, this place is amazing. I'd like to meet the owner. The bartender says, oh, he's upstairs in the office with my wife. The guy gets confused and says, what's he doing upstairs in the office with your wife? The bartender smiles and says the same thing I'm doing to his business. So you got the money? If you want to talk with him, you got to talk with me. Ah, so you're the translator. Ah, eres el traductor. No, tú eres el traductor. No, you're the translator. How am I the translator? ¿Cómo soy el traductor? ¿Por qué para eso te contrate? Because that's why I hired you. No, motherfucker, I'm here to make a deal. No, hijo de puta, estoy aquí para hacer un trato. ¿Con quién creas que estás hablando? Who do you think you're talking to? If you don't take this serious, I'm gonna blow your head off. Si no te lo tomas en serio, te voy a volver la cabeza. ¿Qué? What? Can I just speak? with him alone? ¿Me puedo hablar con él solo? Sí. Yeah. No, I'm asking you to walk away. No, te estoy pidiendo para que te la alejes. Okay, you're the worst translator. Okay, eres el perro traductor. Oh, you're talking about me. Yeah, the deal's off. Sí, la ofertas de descuento. Oh shit, I fucked up. So you like boys? And girls? Are you still single? Honey, you're not bisexual, you by yourself. Today I was working at ShopRite and some lady comes up to me and says, Hey, do you know where the broccoli is? Since I do all the produce stocking there, I knew that we were out of broccoli, so I told the lady, I said, excuse me, ma'am, we're actually all out of broccoli, and she goes, okay. Literally one minute later, a lady comes back to me and goes, excuse me, sir, where's the broccoli? And I look at her, and I said, excuse me, ma'am, I told you, we're, we're all out, like, there's nothing I can do, we're all out, we'll have more tomorrow. 30 seconds later, this lady comes back to me and goes, excuse me, sir, where's the broccoli? I look at this lady and just take a deep breath. I say, ma'am, do me a favor and spell cat, like in catastrophic. She goes, that's easy, C-A-T. I said, great. Do me a favor and spell dog, like dogmatic. She goes, that's even easier, D-O-G. And I said, great. I say, one last thing, ma'am, spell fuck, like in broccoli. And she goes, there's no fucking broccoli. And I go, that's what I'm trying to tell you, lady. Is this patient sexually active? <laughs> With your mom. Triple the dosage. But sir, that could kill him. Just fucking do it. Hey, dad, my friends make fun of me at school because I don't know where babies come from. Can you tell me? Well, the 
time has finally come. This is your last chance. After this, there's no turning back. You take the blue pill. I'll be able to explain it in a way your feeble mind can comprehend. You'll be able to live the rest of your tween years in a bubble. However, if you take the red pill, well, the bubble suddenly pops. The next words coming out of my mouth will be so vile, so graphic. You won't be able to look at me and your mother the same way. I will drag your mind through the trenches, and we will sail through the second level of hell. By the time we're done with this lesson, puberty will hit you so hard you'll feel your butt hairs growing. So, what's it gonna be? So, let me tell you about the birds and the bees. So when me and your mother love each other so How do you remember which one's fake? <laughs> the one you have is fake. Hey guys, it's me, Jerry, I'm here. Remember that conversation we had about if we got reincarnated into objects after we died, how we should pick glasses so we could still talk to each other after we died? Well, here I am. Guys, where the fuck is Jerry? We got your test results back. Sorry to tell you, you're ugly. So, madam, why do you feel you deserve custody of this child? Well, I brought him into this world, so I should get custody of him. That's a simple but fair enough reason. And you, sir, why do you feel you deserve custody of this child? Well, if I put money into a Pepsi machine and a Pepsi comes out, is it mine or the machine's? All right, we need you to release the hostages without harming them. Well, our clients want you to give them the money and let them escape. I'll handle this. Hey, what if we doubled what they're paying you? Will you stop? I'll take care of this guy. What if we tripled your salary? Would you stop? Yeah, nice try. You said triple? Mom, today the kids at school were bullying me. Oh, sweetie, what? Who? Why? Because I made a card for a girl I like and- Ew, what? Simp? Simp? <gasps> You're grounded. Have you seen the trailer? Yeah, I'm really excited for it. Cut, cut, I need more! Show me that you're excited! This Cut, you need to dial it back, it's too much. Cut. Let's try one more time. Cut, cut. We need cut. to- Cut. This film sucks. We need another layer. Cut! That's a wrap, we got Hold it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. This film sucks. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Who are you talking to? Your mum. What? Dude, I was kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. You got me, you got me. Who's that? Your mum. Oh, okay. Very good, very good. Right, I gotta take this. Hey, stop talking to my mum. <laughs> Yeah, I think he bought it. Yeah, I think he bought it. A man is watching TV when he hears a knock on his door. He opens it and it's a salesman. The salesman says, uh, Can I interest you in a toothbrush? Only $10. The man says, $10 for a toothbrush? That's insane. Absolutely not. The salesman then says, Well then, uh, could I interest you in a brownie? Only $1. The man says, All right, why not? So he takes a bite from the brownie and immediately spits it out. He says, This tastes like crap. The salesman replies, it is! So, can I interest you in a toothbrush? Hey dad, if I told you that I was gay, would you still love me? Ah, don't be silly, son. You were an accident. I never loved you in the first place. <laughs> bro, 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 you're not gonna believe it. I just won the lottery. Oh, oh my god, how much? One billion dollars. Here, come look at this. <gasps> oh, Jesus! I, I can't see. What? I can't feel my legs. You gotta help me, man. Hello, are you there? Hey, you gotta help me. Hey, hey, what are you doing? What is that? You need to just take my ticket, right? You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that to me. You, you need to just take my ticket, right? I trust you. You're my best friend. You wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that to me. You, 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 you wouldn't do that. I'm John Cunyonis. From what would you do? Are you gay? No. Do your mama know you gay? <laughs> no. Wait. Fuck. Motherfucker. If I say no, then I'm gay. Got it. Yes. Fuck. Hello friend, I'm your genie. You have three wishes. Go. I wish that every time somebody said, I don't understand, they would shit out a copy of Tony Hawk's Underground 2 on PS2. That's, that's like, weirdly specific. You've thought about this before, haven't you? Are you gonna grant the wish or what? Fine. But, I gotta tell you, I don't understand. Ugh. Ugh. Ow! You're a horrible person. All right, so for my next- No! No more wishes, you're done! What? Why? I don't understand- Ugh! Okay guys, please make sure to put your phones on airplane mode at this time. We don't want any accidents happening. Fuck that. We all know that doesn't actually do anything. Mayday! Mayday! We're going down! 
Okay, who the fuck did they put their phone on airplane mode? Bro, what the fuck?